I have one for dangerously one. adjusting the camera. So when it sort of <laughs> off the, the pipe, <laughs> it's clamped on the lamp. It's ridiculous. Oh my god. Wait, JB is on Insta. What? Yes, JB, you are on Instagram. Joyous. I've now exited Instagram with some people over here. No. Well, hi y'all. Hey everybody, we're live. Yes, we we'll are. My background is weird. Hey guys. Wait, JB is on Insta. Wait, what? Wait, uh, wait, uh, people are freaking out, JB. I know. I could be in two places at once. <laughs> That's oh, what yeah. happens when you're dead. You see, Vanda can be a ghost and he can go anywhere he likes now. Yeah, basically. It's free. Um, I'm like Obi-Wan. Like Obi a little bit like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yes. Use the force, Vanda. Use the force. A little bit younger than Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> No much. <laughs> Come on. Um, He's ageless. These are not the voice actors you're looking for. You don't need to yeah, see their resumes. Move along. <laughs> Move along. Move along. Yeah. We do Move we along. tried that at TSA on the way down here, and guess what? They don't they don't fall for the force. Not so much. <laughs> this is not the cocaine you're looking for. <laughs> 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 no, there's no drugs. There were no drugs, believe me. So we can say hi to people. We can say hi Madeline. Hi Sky. Hi Zach. Hi Jamie. Hi. Well, hi, me. Uh, hi, me. Hi, Sasha. Hi, Madeline. Hi, Drell. Hello, Tactical Shadows. Hi, Hydration. Your is on as well. Hello. Madeline, Sasha, Drell. Hi, everybody. Hydration. Hello again. Hydrofoil. Hello, Madeline. Hey, Calcium. Hi, Lizzie. Hello, Tactical Shadows. What's up, everybody? Yeah. Uh, Thanks just for joining us today. In case you don't know, everyone, there are these fantastic prints going up on Streamly.com now where you can go to our stores. We've all got one. Hold them up, folks. Um, you can you can purchase these. You can get them signed live during this stream. This stream right now. We will sign it this with your name and a very second comment. Minute. For this a very second, and we will send out. them to you through the mail. As through snail mail, which is unheard of now. I also, I mean, and everybody's got multiple things too, but you know, if the 11 by 17 is not your thing, you can always do one of these great eight by tens. We have some fantastic artists out there. I want to give a shout out to everyday Merlin who did uh, my hollow print and to Rin the Yordle here, who out of love for the character of Heimerdinger did this exquisite portrait of the professor. Uh, and I'm sure you all have great artists that you'd love to give a shout out to as well, but uh, support these. Hello, Shelby. This, yeah. is, this is actually painted on acrylic, and I have it downstairs ready to be framed. Oh. So I made a print of this, too. She did, That's two, amazing. and there's another one here as well of a very pensive Vanda. These are these are on Streamly.com as well. But yeah. these are prints of an original painting. So if you want one of these yeah. or one of these, the go to Streamly.com. They are available. Two very handsome. From purple lines on paper. Uh, Daddy picks. In beautiful. Indiana, Daddy picks. And you can see the hand-painted... Um, Acrylics that she's used, and it's rather gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. I have this one by Anna Art Lover. Stunning. So pretty. Stunning. So good. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And then I have this other super, super cool one by... It's upside Dan down. Oh, it's upside down. No, it's the right way up. No, it's upside down. No, it's the right way up. No, it's upside down. Wait, you can't it's tell. It's the right... Is it? <laughs> you can't tell. I, I, can, yeah. It can be any way you want it to be, but, I mean, how stunning is this? That's... Yeah, I mean, what's the artist's name on that one? Davoxime, D A V O X I M E. What's up, Tyler? Hey, heroes again. <gasps> oh my goodness, one. you're so welcome. Hi, you were just on my stream on Instagram, and I was just raving about you. Are there other? I got one only gave you. Kelsey, I wish I was tripping. This is how I normally am. Word up, <laughs> ask anyone. Indeed. <clears throat> All right. So should we get like, to uh, uh, should we get to some of these signings, folks? Tactical Tactical Shadow says I'm getting the feminine urge to spend all my money. I didn't know that was a feminine urge necessarily. Oh, that's <laughs> that's I, I get that urge too sometimes, you know. And Just I, like how really... JB, you're having the masculine urge to easy now, easy now. Uh, what, Check sign? the football scores. Sign? Huh? <laughs> Hmm. Like you, you just like put something like stupid, 
after feminine, masculine. Yes, um, I'm having the, the masculine urge to arrange flowers. Uh, yes. Shop? How about shopping? I'm having the masculine oh, urge to play a trombone underwater. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Good. You know, I was thinking something more like, I'm having the feminine urge to spend 19 hours a day making Spotify playlists and then never listen to any of them. Well, that's wow. pretty good. That's complicated and much sharper than I get. That's a complex. Oh, actually, like, uh, I love you too, El Depresso. And holy, holy, JB sounds, really sounds like Vanda. I wonder Funny why. Enough, they're kind of the same guy. It's weird. What? Dude, that's crazy. Shocking. Okay. It's I think shocking. Shocking. I'm a dad from London too. <laughs> Cheerio, bip, bip, cheerio. Kelsey Heroes of Geek. We've been waiting all day in the UK. It's late here. I know it is. I'm sorry, you guys. I was going to do one yesterday, but I had to spend time with my kid because I'm going out of town, and I, I felt guilty and horrible and awful, and I'm sure you can understand. Where are so you that... riding? Hey, kids come first, for sure. I am riding motorcycles down to the bottom of Baham back. That's exciting. Cool. I'm going on a motorcycle adventure. That's really wait. cool. Yeah, I haven't I think got a thing in bag. I not know any <laughs> internet terms. That's me. <laughs> I'm riding motorcycles down to the bottom of Baja, and I haven't a thing to wear. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need much, I have to say. Yeah, what, what do you? Do you like? Is it all like leather and zippers and helmets? And what do you wear, Jake? In your in your fantasy dreams, Mr. Logan. How disgusting! Oh Let's, can we keep it a family show, please? Yeah. Sorry. I have, I, I have a kind of. I have a mesh. I have a mesh suit with lots of armor and stuff, and then Ooh, a it's helmet. Like fishnet too. Gloves and boots. Not fishnets now. No, that's really sad. <laughs> that makes it interesting. Windburn. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if you're asking for Heimerdinger's voice or if you like my actual voice, but thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I will do this for you, though, because I know that that is quite uh, on request from me. <laughs> Jason Lowe, I admire your, your, your gorgeous personality, too. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, hi, Tamara. Nice to see you. <laughs> Don't threaten the guy who pours the drinks. That's right. Oh, they want one of those. I'll do one of those. But a great line. Advice. Don't Indeed. threaten the guy who pours the drinks. Oh, so good. Nice. It's my favorite line. And there's so one many great favorites. lines from the show, but that's the one that pops. Someone said, Powder, what is a material girl? Okay. Let me. That's Madonna. <sighs> Yes, but there's also this song, and it goes bada, 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 material girl, and see, I probably don't do it right. What's that song from? TikTok. I haven't heard that one. Just TikTok. <laughs> just, I, I mean, it's just you know. Well, they don't, I, don't, I don't understand the TikTok anymore. With it. I don't understand the TikTok. It, it, it seems to be lots of women showing their bottoms, and I don't really understand why. I don't either, but it's weird. It's okay. They're, they're living their lives. They seem to I be. I guess so. It's a choice. It's a choice. <laughs> I'm just saying yeah, no one wants to see my bottom, I suppose. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say. No no it was a time. It was a time. You know, I mean. So why material Gwarl? What's, what's the W about? Yeah, what is Gwarl? Do you think Do you think you made a mistake typing? Oh, it's, it's material Gwarl. 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 Material Gwarl. I'm saying squirrel, but. Girl, squat, girl. Tactical Shadow says me is teaching the boomers internet terms. I'm angry about that. I'm not a boomer. Well, I'm just under a boomer, but I'm not a boomer. <laughs> Someone said, I feel like me is similar to powder, minus the homicidal tendencies. Yeah, fair, fair. Okay. Although you don't know that well. Did you say you. that's an accurate assessment, Mia? Yes. <laughs> to be fair, you don't know her that well. Huh? Fair enough. <laughs> they said, maybe you don't know me that well. <laughs> yes. I just fix my life. My mom would say, she 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 just said, I would say it's accurate plus the homicidal tendencies. What? Yeah. What? Or you oh, cause her to have hom homicidal tendencies. Yeah. Yeah. I've met your mom. She's great. Isn't she the best? She's she's making in quesadilla right now. Hello. Oh, mom. Bless her heart. Hi, mom. No. It's an international thing. This is for David. Thank you, David. Oh, David cool. wanted rock well on. Done. He wants rock on because I know I play guitar so. My nice, guitar. <laughs> but uh, I play guitar too, and I've been very sad because my guitars have been away at the luthiers getting set up, and I've been without them for ages. Yeah, you oh, got to keep one behind, JB. Got to keep one behind. I do. I, well, I do, but it's not my Martin. You know, it's the, my Martin Ooh. is my baby. Wow, I love that guitar, man. I love that guitar. That 
The Martins are terrific. I mean, I'm, I'm left-handed, so I can never touch anybody's Martin. And that's not a euphemism. <laughs> but <laughs> it's like, I, it's like, oh, it's beautiful. They say you want to play it. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm backwards. So I'm backwards. Are you a bit backwards? You got a touch <laughs> of the Paul McCartney's. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sasha Robbins, uh, Heroes of Geek, interview us about uh, themes of disability and mental health. I'm sure we'd all be happy to do an interview about that. Yeah. I'm not sure that I'm in a, in a good place to speak about it. I have some experience. I mean, I have a special needs kid. Um, and I believe other people in the cast do too. I'm not going to speak for them. But um, I can certainly speak a bit to that and, and uh, the interesting journey and fascinating and wonderful journey that that is. Mm -hmm. So if you want to interview us and set up something, you can. Um, if you go to, if you email me at jb at jbblanc.com, um, this is going to sound as pompous as hell, but my assistant will set something up. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it, it really is something important, and this is something that I think I was touched upon in the Q&A yesterday, is that, you know, sometimes you, you can forget that just doing something, working on a show that might be popular or something like this, really reaches a lot of people and yeah. the fact that people would have a forum like this to actually interact with people that for one reason or another met something with them whether it's you know interpretation of a character or otherwise or just a live interaction you know th there are so many lifelines you get to throw out it, it with all the people you meet and if you're lucky enough to have a forum that you can extend that th those lifelines out even further it's great so for anybody who struggles um uh, on either side of it, you, you really, you really have to be ready to respond and reach out. And um, like JB saying, it's you know, I, I think everybody here would be available for for help in any way. Yeah. It's so important. I'm so glad you said that. Hours, you know, we hear you. We see you. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I tuned into Jason Spizak's uh, live signing yesterday, mm -hmm. and um, his character Silco gets that marvelous line to powder or to Jinx, I should say, uh, at the at the end of this first season. And and I just want to I just want to echo Jason's personal sentiment as he was saying it to um, to fans and to people that he was interacting with. Don't cry. You're perfect. Um, we all have stuff that we all go through and whether that is major or minor, um, you are who you, you are everything you need to be. And, and that is just true. It's just You're also a hell of a lot more than you think you are. Uh, I, you know, the revelations that I've gone through with my daughter time after time, after time, she surprised me and, and amazed me. And it's a beautiful journey it really is. It's not, it really uh, it's, it's kind of extraordinary. Yeah. And as, as long as they know they're not, they're not walking it alone. It is yeah. just really, For really. Sure. And, yeah. and you think like, well, you know, you think things like that. Oh, that goes without saying, say it, <laughs> say it because you don't know at what point someone might be in their day or their journey where they, they just need to hear it, whether you're the best. And, you know, some people say, like, I do this all the time. I'm like, why would you take advice from me or a suggestion from me? It, you know, because I'm so, you know, everybody's broken in one or in many different ways, flawed, broken, not perfect. You can still you can still reach out, you know, and um, it, from personal experience, it, it can make a difference in people's lives. You know, you, you see some someone said something to months or years before and you see it again and you say, how is that thing going? And they say, you know, you said something to me two years ago and it stuck with me. And, yeah. you know, then you feel like, OK, full circle. You know, the, the answer is not two plus two equals four. But you might not get to the equals for like a long time after, but it's there. The answer's there. So, um, yeah, I applaud anybody and, and, you know, and appreciate respect anybody who's who's helping someone go through that, like GB or maybe some people and, you know, on my end of things. But, man. Yeah. Um, Bless you, know. you, Sasha Robbins. Lots of love to you, darling. Absolutely. Um, someone's been asking whether Mia had any roles before Powder. I'm like, dude, she had more roles than any of us before Powder. Oh, says you, JB. She's been acting um, since she was born. Well, <laughs> so uh, previous to Powder, I was uh, fan I was Nancy on Disney Junior's Fancy Nancy. I was on Broadway uh, in Les Miserables and Matilda as Matilda. I told you. <laughs> um, 
you might know me from Orange is the New Black or Kung Fu Panda, Hotel Transylvania, uh, just, you know, stuff here and there. But most in a few of the biggest television shows and theater places, yeah. Everybody, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, Mia, so, you're are you in New York, uh, based in New yeah. York? Yeah, I'm so based in New York one, because we had a table read for this show. You guys probably all remember it. Um, my god, it had to be 2019. And my agent said, Well, you could go to LA for it, but they, they said you, people are going to be doing it from New York. She said, There's one actress who's in New York, she's going to be doing it. It had to be you, and it I was. Think at that point, for that table read, were you were you in LA for that? Because I was the only one. I was. The I, was. I okay. Listen, yes, I. Oh yeah, I think you're frozen. Okay, there you are. I was in LA for that, and I I think I was like oh I was shooting uh, Raven's Home, which is the That's So Raven spinoff. So that's why I was in LA at the time, and I'm also like back and forth from LA most of the time anyway. So I happened to be there for um, the table read however many years ago but yeah no are you based in new york are you here i am in new york yeah um and, and uh and i, I felt so alone the funny look at that oh it's so sweet that you two can freeze your asses off together <laughs> well, listen, that we, is listen, true. we got out under the storm like we were like we were in new orleans watching the snow come down in new york from the tv no it's like, you know sipping like on a sazerac saying oh what a pity but um but when we were doing the table read, I remember everybody else was there, and I'm like, "What happened to like other people are going to be on the, you know, on the screen?" And I was you saying were on the TV, in the conference getting, room. Yeah, I was getting absolutely no response from anything I was saying because it was like eight seconds behind, and I'm like, "How can I bomb from three thousand miles away?" But um, but so you're the person, you're the New York actress, so there you go. But yeah, so there I am. Look at us. But. For a day. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. But I'm just going to add on to what you guys were saying earlier, just to close it out. Um, you are undoubtedly someone's everything. No matter, like, what you may think, you mean everything to somebody. And you may not know it, you may not be aware, but you are someone's entire world. That's all. That's so that's so nice to say. <laughs> you know, as, as a dad, you hear these things from, you know, younger people and you're like, man, someone's raising you right. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, it's so important. So good for you and good for your whoever supports you. My mom, um, she is my rock. Like, literally, she is. She's done everything she possibly could to make sure I don't turn out to be an asshole. <laughs> And yet, and yet, you know, be. Yeah. It be. all right. Uh, I just got this one. I can't work the camera, I have a problem. Uh, yeah. this one is for William Glenn Eight. Uh, for uh, thanks for the support. He said, Put your favorite Heimerdinger quote, and my favorite Heimerdinger line is anybody who tuned in last last week, I mean, or last yesterday, the last yeah. stream. I, I love when he when he throws open the doors and say, People love a grand reveal. And uh, so that's Fair what enough. you get. And uh, thanks for signing up for one. And I can't wait to send this to you. Time is no meaning. Time is a construct. <sighs> Yesterday, last week, last month, who knows? Yeah, tell that to my landlord. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for Anonymous. Don't threaten the guy who pours the drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Anonymous. I, I got this one from... Lynn wanted hearts. <laughs> hearts. So maybe she loves Hawk. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. Two of the hearts. I wish I had my camera higher so we can do the actual signing. Because when you sign something, people like always watch you. Like they watch yeah. you actually write it out. So I can't do that this time. But, but here it is. Look. But here's the actual pen. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are any of you going to any Comic Cons? Yeah, Sack Anime is coming up. Nice. Mm. Where is that, JB? Sack Anime. Sack Ramento. Ramento, California. Sac Ramento, California. I am possibly going to Birmingham and Manchester this year as well, I'm hoping. Nice. In the UK. I, I was going to say, uh, it's probably not Birmingham, Alabama, and Manchester. No, I would happily go to Birmingham, Alabama. I have no problem with that whatsoever, but this is <laughs> not Alabama. 
All right. Now, these are, this one's for a couple of fans. Sasha and Van, I have not forgotten about you. Of course, I want to make sure that since you stayed up late to get your signings done for you. Uh, I did pre-write the quote because it was a long bit of text, but uh, I'm signing it right now. Um, Sasha. Too fun. <laughs> All right. There it is. And the quote, what of course, quote being, uh, if dangerous ideas didn't excite the imagination, we would never wander astray. Uh, and that is for you too. Thanks so much for following on Twitter and for buying a print and for being great fans. And uh, it's my pleasure to get this to you. So thank you so much. Bruce and Jessica, there is your signed doobie doobie. All right, I got a question. Your question for Bill: Did you did getting the year uh, 2021 feel weird after being on Sea Lab 2021? You know, we got more questions about Sea Lab, which I love, by the way. I also got three separate tweets and like one uh, uh, DM, one private message about like, you know, so it's 2021. Uh, how do you feel about you know being on Sea Lab 2021 now? Basically, the future is now. So. Um, it was a very, very strange thing because we did those and I think it's going to probably scare me, but it was like, that was probably in the year 2000 that we did uh, 2021. And even yeah. then it seemed like a world away. And then it, it kind of came up and I had posted like that. I actually, I, I, in a self aggrandizing way posted, you know, the C-Lab 2021 logo. And I said, guys, you know what to do. DVD available on, you know, cartoonnetwork.com or whatever, or, you know, the download. But um, yeah, it was a very weird thing, but it's it's weird that people still respond to it. And now it's 2022 and here we are. So, um, you know, as Sparks would say, hail the overlord. So um, thanks for the question. <laughs> and I will, I, by the way, I will have the Sparks prints up on, on Streamly once I, uh, once they get up, they, they just disappeared. So. But thanks for Chinese the New Year today. Kung Hei Fa Choi! Kung Hei Fa Choi! Mick also played Zheng. Zheng from Kung Fu Panda? Po. Yes, I Are was. You, uh, well, in Legends well? of Awesomeness, I was. I filled in for nice. Dan Fogel, who was in the first feature film. Cool. Dragon Warrior. Um, El Depresso. Yes, you can get a print if you go to streamily.com and you can get one from the store and I will sign it for you. If you do it quickly, I'll sign it for you now. Yeah, streamily.com slash arcane, or if you want to go to each of our individual stores, it's uh, streamily.com slash our names, or at least my name, uh, Mick Wingertz, and I think JB's is JB Blanc. So, um, mine is just Mia J. And yeah. Mia, Mia J? Mia J. And mine cool. is slash, uh, slash lovely live. Uh, awesome excellent I, so if you want to go to our individual stores there's there's the the slashes or you could just go to slash arcane like i said and and everybody everybody who's a member of the arcane cast that's participating in this has prints up and even if they're not here today doing the live signing they will include you in theirs i know talks uh Tokes, excuse me has some amazing prints that she's commissioned as yeah. well some beautiful stuff of Mel. Um, I even think Yuri Lowenthal has a Milo print that was uh, beautifully rendered by a fan artist, and um, that's available for you too. So, uh, yeah, go to streamly.com/arcane, and that should that should really you know, yeah take care of it. Jason has some great ones too. Some of these artists, like I wish there was like a separate thing where you could just list all these unbelievable artists that are so talented. And yeah. you know, in, in in a relatively new medium, I mean, the digital the digital art. Actually, I had a niece, Sarah, who might be watching, um, who was starting to get into that 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 kind of stuff. And uh, you know, well, 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 look who's here! <laughs> oh my God, Jason! I have, I have had quite the day. I was just signing for a great while, and there he is. I okay, okay, okay. That, that, that's it. I gotta go. I completely. <laughs> Forgot what time this was supposed to be, and uh, just kept signing on my own. <laughs> Jason, I've been uh, signing on my own. Oh, did you bring enough prints for the rest of the class? Yeah, so I've got I got some some goodies. There was some real nice fan art that they. I found your TikToks. So. 
Yeah, yeah, they they love us, don't they? I found them. Yeah, those TikTok sims. You gotta not watch those TikTok videos. Oh, they are these... begging me not to, but they just keep popping up. Yeah. So these I are like. Uh, Hi, Leslie Lily. These are like a uh, uh, couple of uh, fan artists, Niku and Claim the Skies, are their handles, and they made some great art. And so I was like, let's bring those out. Let's sign those. Yeah, for sure. Good stuff. Jason, we met briefly in uh, at the Undercity Nights thing. I'm uh, Bill. Yeah, Bill hey. York. And of course. Were, were, I just remember yeah, the thing that, that struck me about that event. First of all, the event itself was amazing. But sure, you guys sure. are all like buddies, like LA buddies. And um, I'm thinking like, oh, great. I'm going to walk into that. I'll spend five minutes, you know, and they'll be talking their, you know, their shop, their LA shop talk. But mm -hmm. I'm not saying, you know, we, we buddied up. The no, whole I actually thing. don't like any of these other people, Bill. <laughs> I, that, that, that's yeah. a testament to your acting. I only met you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But I think that's quite long great. enough, Mick. I, I'd run while yeah. you're ahead. Yeah. It was great to see you guys interact. And it's like, oh my God, you know, everybody thinks, oh, New York actors, LA actors. It's like the camaraderie is, is just as strong. And it was sure. really, and I also, there's not, not, I didn't feel for a second that I didn't belong there. So you got, no. and how can I thank you in person? So here we are. Uh, you guys were terrific. So I have to be, I have to be you honest. You, you, New York actors are a great bunch of people, you know, and, and I don't ever think as actors is like coming from a city. Because we're just all over the place all the time. And, you know, are you kidding me? It was so lovely yeah. to meet you, Bill. It was lovely. Yeah. Well said. Yeah, it, it was like, uh, yeah, it, it was, I still, I still talk to my wife says, yeah, I remember that you were so, if I'm down, she goes, well, you, you know, you were in November, you were in LA. I'm like, oh yeah, that was so good. That's right. <laughs> that was so uh, good. But, um, but and listen, I try not to get down, but if I am, like, let's say, you know, the Buffalo Bills lose, but or something like that. <laughs> Just remember under city nights. I'm like, oh. I, I, I wouldn't anyway, want to be, I wouldn't want to be anyone on the Bills. Yeah. Yeah. A ton of sports chat stuff now. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to pop in and see all you guys just because I miss you. You know, I never really got to meet some of you. Like, Mick, I didn't get to work with you, and Bill, I didn't get to work no. with you, but uh, it's, uh, it's such an incredible show, and I love you know every part of it, including you guys as cast members. You're so talented and so lovely, and uh, I see you out there on social media and stuff. But uh, well, maybe we'll we'll see each other in person and someday soon again too. You never know. Yeah, I, 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 I hope so. It's um, yeah, what an experience. I mean, some of the things that that I didn't know that like, and you know, not just people like my kids are you know in their in their twenties and um their friends are going nuts. But then when like someone like, you know, of the parent of the parenting age says, I totally watched that show, dude. And and I can't believe how great and the, 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 the you know, the, the, the kudos you get from anything from the technical aspect, animation, facial expressions, scripting, and of course, the acting. I mean, talk about a show that comes together and hits on all cylinders. Um, yeah. it's so impressive to be part of it. And yeah, and there are scenes, yes. you're, Jason, your line, and we, we already talked about it and it keeps coming up. So don't <laughs> like, who is not crying in, in, in that scene? And it's, it's about the delivery and it's about the writing mm. and it's about the setup, but man, yeah. some of this stuff goes right through you. So it's, it, it is, it is tough because, uh, I, I can't. As much as I think, you know, hey, I brought it in that scene. I mean, the entire show leads up to that. I mean, everything that happens when my character is not even on screen and everything that, the you know, the animation and the music alone, if you just listen to the music, the the, the, the song at the end, you know. Uh, um, yeah, that last song. And, you know, the theme song. Well, we, we, you know, we watched every episode maybe two or three times. But uh, yeah. my wife feel like, you know, because, you know, we, we fast forward through the... Uh, you know, skip the intro. I'm like, no. And she said, why? I said, the song. The song. <laughs> and she's like, oh, yeah, yeah the song. And I'm like, the song. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, it, it's, but, yeah. It, it, it's a pleasure to, to be there for those moments, like as an actor, that you get to you get to be the one that lands the punch. But, you you know, it's everybody is the wind up. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, 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 it's the boxer's training and then, and then the knockout punch. Yeah. Someone said Huck was such a tragic character too. Thank you, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Was was yeah. isn't he? I don't know. Yeah, he was. 
I mean, you know, you see him being part of everything in the beginning, and then well, yeah, and then, like he's it's like he's alone and dying, you know. Yeah, by, and then does know, that la, you know the la, the last yeah. great effort because and then it's, what what killed me about it well, like probably one of my favorite lines was when the, he said the reason he got onto Shimmer was because you know you know he wanted people to be af afraid of him for a change. So mm. I, I don't know. We were talking a little about mental health <laughs> issues. Um, yeah. Uh, earlier. And talk about, you know, why someone turns to something, whether it's, you know, substance or the wrong group or the wrong sure. behavior um, or even just, you know, going in within themselves, you know, for the wrong for the wrong reason. You know, it's like th yeah. this is going to fix me. This is going to make it better. And it's not the choice. You know, it's, yeah. it's not the thing. It's not the substance. It's, you know, it's not the you know where you go, what you do. It's who you're with. And um it, that it really that really resonates with me but i think everybody can can speak to the fact that in this scripting there's so much humanity that your role is never one dimensional you know and even if you tried to make it one dimensional you know so everybody here has had those lines that stick with you i think just from my listening to it yeah yeah I don't, there's a single point in the show where i was ever like that doesn't make sense to be there Everything is so intentional and so poignant. And I don't think anyone in the cast has ever ceased to amaze me, ever. Not just the cast, but the score and Four Teachers Animation, and especially, obviously, Christian and Alex. I mean, you can see their dedication and how hard they love this project and the people that have helped create yeah. it and it really is just so special indeed yeah yeah i mean jb phoned it in a lot but yeah every, everybody really did a good job so. yeah, i just i'm not on this person i just don't care you can't be you can't be bothered you know? i don't care i don't i just don't care enough you know, it's often often an accusation yeah. i get yeah many times that i bring nothing to any of the characters yeah. i play you're so I mean, invested. We, care, we care enough for you and everyone it's, it's you a know shame what? really but invested is just not a word that he knows how to spell yeah. So, Unemotional, nope. bland, cold, <laughs> yeah, detached. I wonder if JB knows how to spell in general. <laughs> well, I haven't had any lunch yet, so I'm, I just wanted to come by and say hello to everybody. I've been doing this since uh, 10 this morning, and I love you guys, and I will see you all another time. And I am feel hugged, and yeah, um, in person, I will so. see you, and I will give you a great big hug. Everybody says, get some lunch. Yes, of course. Yeah. They've been watching me on my stream. All right, you guys. Thanks for stopping by, Jason. Yeah. Bye, Jason. Bye, Jason. Bye, Cheers. Yes. Bye. Bye. Don't you Luckily, Lily, really, I just wanted to say thank you for like saying hi to drawing room, By the way. A drawing room comedy. It's like, it's, like, it's like that Noel Coward feel. He's elegant, I think. Right? Right? He, he's just very, like... Yeah, I just, feel, I just relax. He's like, so nice to meet you. <laughs> He's anyway. all right. All right. This is interesting. This is to Daniel. That's Don't be cool afraid. One. Don't be afraid. He wanted, isn't that amazing? That's really gorgeous. Don't be afraid, Daniel. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid it it's okay. Um, And this one signed out. Oh, well, question for JB. Do you prefer playing characters with a more fatherly nature like Vander or are the cold blooded killers like Caustic or Blisk more fun? Interesting. Uh, well, bad guys are always more fun, but Vander was a special kind of good guy because he was so conflicted and had so much other stuff going on. And because I definitely related to him as a, as a father uh, of a daughter. Who's a pain in the ass and out there somewhere? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I mean the bad guys—they they get the delicious lines in the farm. I mean they're very different. It's very different genres of material. So you know, Bane is just that big, nasty guy. You know, Mister mm -hmm. Wayne. I have Alfred back at the house. You should probably hurry. And uh, yeah. and 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 Blisk is much more of a kind of outward bastard, you know. He's a mercenary, and he will kill you, and he will get paid to to do just that, you know. So they're, they're, they're fun for different reasons. Whereas Van is much more grounded. 
Um, yeah. But but they're all fun. They're all fun, man. We get we got the best job in the world. We get to play all these fantastic characters, and they pay us to do it. And then we get to meet you guys and sign things. And you guys are fabulous. Yeah, Heroes of Geek. I don't play Apex Legends. I should. I don't really have much time to play games because I'm very busy in show business, as everyone will tell you. Um, but yeah, no. I, I wish I wish I was a better gamer than I am. I'm really crap. I will go on at some point and probably chuck a few caustic voices around because what I do love is freaking people out. <laughs> and if really? I play as caustic and then do the caustic voice, that would make me very, very happy because they'd go bananas. Oh my god! Yeah, I did uh, something for for Mafia too. Wait, uh, first of all, I got to shout out to the Tyrant King Vicious. He says Huck was a tragic character and really embodies the consequences of neglect just as much as Powder does. People mm. want to do better but can't because of circumstances beyond their control, and they just make do with what they have. Uh, wow. That, that's there. There's truth to power right there. The I boy mean, went deep. The boy went deep. He went yeah, deep. But, but it's totally true. And that, so I guess you can see those, you know, those little like glimmers of, of or reflections in the characters themselves. So then, you know, you have a couple of those going, and you have a theme. <laughs> you know what I mean? Of uh, what happens when you don't pay attention to people. But anyway, back to the uh, the, the rough and tumble character. I did a character for I think Mafia Two, a video game, and it was Bragg. And I mean, this guy was the foulest freaking thing. And somebody came up to me at one of the uh, some event and, and said, um, you know, these these are really mean, mean characters. And my son plays that. And it, I mean, this guy was fa the most foul mouth, one of the most foul mouth characters I ever played in a game. And, uh, you know, not nice. Uh, and I think what the conversation became is like, look, if you don't have evil in these games, good, good can triumph over nothing. So I'm not saying I agree 100% with like, you know, just how foul it gets. But having at, the, at that point, having had really young kids who couldn't play the game. But, you know, you, you need the yin and the yang. You need, you need, at least in the video game setting, I hope there's never any evil. But when it's there, you should have someone stronger, stronger who with conviction and, and can take care of it. So there's your, you know, and, but, uh, but that being said, JB, you're right, man. Playing an evil character, and I'm sure Jason will attest to it. It is. It can be a great deal of fun, unless you live your life that way. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> the thing about it is, you, you you can't play an evil character. An evil character is just someone who's just trying to get their needs met. You know, they they like a toddler. They just you put you put peanut butter in their mouth, and if they don't like it, they spit it out. Um, but you have to find you have to find empathy for evil characters, even though they can be very despicable. And Bill, I actually, I directed all the voices on Mafia Three. And some of the language in that was so bad, I had to take a shower after every session. It was oh really dark. Yeah, they were pretty, like... pretty heavy duty stuff. But you know, it takes a village where there's all, all kinds of different types of work that we have to do. Yeah, this was like, and uh, not only was this guy mean, but he was shouting across warehouses while his thugs, you know, like disemboweled somebody. It was, you know, but the, the good news is, though, to the point of, of evil versus good and good triumphing, I think Bragg met a horrible, horrible death. I think his heart might have been pulled from his chest or something, but um, and you know he Ooh, probably had that coming. Right. But um, but yeah, JB, you do a lot of directing too. That's like, I think we talked a little bit about that in LA. But that that's a that's a specific kind of acting talent because I don't think any director, any good director, knows a great deal about acting and how to convey it. So good for you. Man. There are some actors who've made. I mean, I don't think it works for everyone. I think there are some actors who've made that transition, and I think, I mean. You know, I'm a, I'm a kind of rebel in the in the training that I had. I had I had lots of theatre training, and and you know I was very lucky enough to go to, to go to Rada, and and so I you know I had that kind of perspective on things, um, and and I think I don't know. I mean, some of you guys have worked with me, but I think actors appreciate being directed by an actor who understands what they're going through, and there isn't a situation in the booth that I haven't come across, and so I can usually help them get out of trouble. Um, and because that's what it is, we're solving problems. And that's what we're trying to do. We're solving problems to tell a story as best we can. Um, but it just, it, it, I, I didn't really know that I was a director either, either until someone gave me a project called Shadow of Mordor, and and I basically didn't screw it up. And I thought, oh, I might might actually be able to do this. And uh, and so that's so that's how my directing career started. And now, I mean, I'm directing a lot more than I'm acting right now. I'm still still trying to do a bit, a bit of the acting, but um, but uh, I just had my 
second COVID test because I'm doing some reshoots for Barry, which is coming out very soon on season three of Barry. Um, nice. Which, which will be fun. Love that. Um, yes, I have been tested twice, and then I get tested on set before I'm allowed on set, and it's it's just. It's amazing. This is a crazy world. Get vaccinated, people, for God's sake, please. please. It's not well, about you. It's, it's about everyone else. Just get vaccinated, however, however please. However many tests you need, get back on the air. I am sick of working in a mask and a face shield. I'm sick of I directed all of Call of Duty Vanguard in a mask and a face shield, and frankly, it was a pain in the ass. Oh, my goodness. Didn't they have glass between you and the actors in the studio? It's like No, we were on the mocap stage. We're on the performance capture stage. We're doing performance capture. Oh, you're doing so. mocap. Oh. Oh. El Depresso, I direct. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to answer a couple of questions because I, I um, uh, first of all, Addison, I've got yours up. I'm going to do your signing next. Um, El Depresso, I direct, uh, I direct uh, all of Blizzard stuff. So I do Overwatch, Heroes of the Storm, Hearthstone, uh, World of Warcraft, uh, Diablo 4, Diablo Immortal. I also direct Fortnite. I also direct uh, League of Legends Runeterra. I direct a lot of that, and I sometimes direct League of Legends. And I just directed uh, Call of Duty Vanguard and directed all the PCAP for that too. So that's why I'm busy in show business, not because I'm doing lots of acting. I'm just, people are desperate and they need help. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here. Here is a geek. Bill Will Huck return. Here is a geek. I can't tell you that. <laughs> I want to tell you, but I can't tell you that. Um, Guys, I've got to run out. I got to dip. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. You guys are the best. I love hey, you. Mia. See you soon. That's it? That's all we get? You're done? Anna? Oh, bye, Mia. I'll be back. You'd leave us for a quesadilla. I'm just crushed. <laughs> well, priorities are in check, man. True. And you look at the case of Mia. So. True that. True that. Ooh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll get all of your prints done, and I can't wait. Mwah. Bye. 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 All right, All right Addison, Addison, Addison I'm doing yours now. Timmy, holy sprockets. It's a nice little, uh, hi, my dear. Oh, holy sprockets, what have we done? That's for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, love that print. And out she goes. This is kind of like Survivor. You know, someone voted <laughs> off the island. <laughs> someone just handed me a rose. I, I was like, what? <laughs> How did that happen? It was me, JP. Thanks, mate. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh, someone's handing me a cup of coffee. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. All right, I've got another hollow print here for Danny. Danny, you wanted a favorite Heimerdinger quote. I love people love a grand reveal, but I also love uh, I also love. Would you please stop? Levitating, come down from there. That's one of my oh. favorites. Take one of those for you on this. So, Addison, I have done your signing. If you're still here, shout out if you're here, Addison, and I'll show it to you. New comments, new comments, new comments, new comments. I think Overwatch, Brom and Reinhardt should be besties. Brom and Reinhardt should be besties. Brom, the heart is the strongest muscle. That is stupid. Why are you doing this? He's not quite. He's not quite horrible. Uh, oh, terrible, JP, terrible uh, my now. son asked me to ask you what was the the movie with the arms dealers? Um. Uh, yeah, I was in it. Yeah, yeah, you were that one. War Dogs. Uh -huh. Yes. So we're watching, and my my son said, "This is supposed to be good." We watch and watch it, and then in comes this cab driver, and uh, <laughs> I said. And, you know, I think the first shot, he might be behind your head. And I was like, wait a minute, just off and off angle. And I was like, wait a minute. Of course, here's your hat, you know. And uh, I said, that's Vander. And they said, no, that, that's the, the cab driver. I said, no, 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 that's the guy that's in our game. And he said, he does movies? I'm like, he directs and he does movies. He's like, is he Russian or whatever? It, it was, what was it, Albanian? Where were you? Albanian, yeah. Yeah. And I said, no, 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 no. He's he's more he's got a whole different accent. He's act, actually closer to Vanders, and he's like, that guy's really good. So I just thought I, I'm I'm doing my own personal shout out for JP. I said I said yeah, he's really good. 
Is he a nice I'm like guy? A bad, I'm, like, I'm like a bad smell, Bill. I turn up in unwanted and surprising places. <laughs> but, but also, some bad smells, JP, are unforgettable. <laughs> that, that's, that is also true. It's quite so sulfuric at times. That. I would take that. Uh, yeah, Addison, okay. here you go. It says to Addison, take a breath. You've got this. All the best, JB Blanc. All right, Addison, there it is, live, coming on to you as soon as possible. And I got you, Danny. You're welcome. <clears throat> JB, can you please read out Van's in Vander's voice? Because it's to Van from Vander. He's going to try and cosplay you too. Big love. To, to Van. Okay, let me. I'll, I'll search for, for Van. Sorry. Oh, that one's complete. Sorry, guys. Because imitation, the sincerest form of flattery. Van, well, to Van. I'm going to try and try and find the one to Van. To Van from Vanda. That is kind of cool. So this is part of it, Bill, where you go searching on Streamly to try and find the person who's asking for the signing to be done live, and you end up sometimes yeah. not being able to find it. If only you could, like, go back to the videotape. You know, back when they had videotape. I don't remember I, that. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to Shanghai our our signing for just a moment and and do a shout out to uh, to Tamara who's here who made sure to be here for this live stream and uh, you bought a uh, an HP Lovecraft print which I am happy to sign for you. And I want you to know I'm so very tired. You know, I have to say, if someone said to me. You know, say, can you do a voice, blah, blah, blah. Or I don't know, you guys have probably gotten this. Like friends will say, could you do my answering machine for me in blah, 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 voice, whatever. And then someone says, well, you must get so tired of people always. And you're like, no, not only do I not get tired of being asked, but I, I don't get tired of watching other people do it. Do you know what I mean? Because don't forget, I never hadn't met Mick and I, I just saw Heimer, you know, and it's like, and then you meet the guy. It's like, that's the guy who does that little cat guy. That, but you know like that and um so i i never get i never get tired of that stuff and it's um it, it's you're doing it now and i'm like that's really cool <laughs> it's, fun. It's, like, it's like when jb says up i'm like it's really cool when he does that it sounds it sounds just like vander <laughs> now make a hey, bill get me some lunch it's not weird <laughs> i'll then I'm having you know. finding van van i can't find van celeste i can't find one for van sasha can't see it yet, but I will. I mean, I'll I'll try. Maybe it's the quote, the quote that you you wrote down, the long quote you wrote down, and you wanted to hear that. Maybe it's not about the specific quote, but about. Well, she's asking for a print to Van, and I can't see one that's that's asking to Van. Unfortunately, I will hunt. I will. I will absolutely hunt for it later. But right now my eyes are going googly because I haven't had much sleep. Do beat, do beat, do we do? Shout it up, but a boom, boom. I gotta pack. I gotta get my shit together. So JP, when are you going? Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday after right down to San Diego. I have to do reshoots on Barry Tuesday during the day, and then right down Tuesday evening. To San Diego, stay stay in San Diego to Tuesday night, and then we head for the border. We're heading for the border on Wednesday. Head for the border, boys. See, <laughs> I just feel like a cowboy when I say that. We're heading for the border. Yeah, all, all you need is the hat. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got the wrong hat. That's right. <laughs> I've got cowboy hats. Those guys that has like fifty million hats, like hanging. I do. Around. Yeah, I've got lots of hats. It's like I'm also the justice of the peace in these parts. We've got a Sledgehammer Games hat. Oh, that's awesome. No end we drink, and now we drink hat. We were talking about that before. Go. Go. That's right. That's right. The man from Del Monte, he says yes. <laughs> That's for the Boca Blue. Now we're going for the Burka. That's America. Woo! <laughs> it's a comedy. It's it's just it's just comedy. Comedy it's, gold. It's a, 
wow, it's just a it's it's a variety show with Jamie. It is from Ecuador, uh, Dave Voxime. It is it is the Voxime. It is from Ecuador, and it's made of pure palm, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful hat. No matter how the world tries to break, you protect the family. I just can't. Family. You guys are rocking it, but I I can't. The, I mean, we've been to haberdashers like this one really nice one here in New Orleans. There's Stetson hats in New York City, and I go in and I try on hats, and I think I look good. And my, people I'm with say, "No, Bill, but put it, put the hat back." <laughs> so <laughs> I try. Listen, I try. Maybe when, you're, when, when you're ball. when you're as bold as I am, it becomes a medical necessity. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's just a, it's a, it becomes a fashion statement. That's right. But I hey do. guys, uh, we're after the two o'clock mark, so we've been doing we've been at this for about an hour or so. Um, I think uh, I think Andrew was wondering if we wanted to go to two thirty and then maybe call it, or sure. if we want to uh, call it now. So uh, I'm okay to go to two thirty. I'm good. I can go a little bit longer. Okay. I have to get to the Jason. I'm going to look for cat. yours, Jason. For I'm looking for Jason. Searching, looking for Jason. For anybody in or near the New Orleans area, you you can see me at the Spotted Cat watching my son play bass, and I'll be I'll be I'll be rocking a French seventy five, <laughs> and uh, which will, which will be emptied as soon as soon as I get there. But um, so yeah, I'll be at the Spotted Cat on Frenchman Street in New Orleans, Louisiana, right after this. Your kids gigging in New Orleans, and and, and oh, that's very cool. JB, he's rocking it. Yeah, he, he's had he has uh today he had this is today will be his three gigs today this will be his that is sixth this weekend he's been down here two years and he is killing it that's right so shout out to my boy there's <laughs> another voice actor called richard epco and his son is a is quite again becoming very well known as a drummer john epco and he plays he plays on the seth uh, seth uh, seth what's his name show seth myers show myers Oh, yeah. Seth Myers. Nice. He plays on the Seth, guests on the Seth Myers show, and he's like he's like the drummer. He was a drummer on Spider Man. He drums, does loads of Broadway shows, and amazing. And nice he's a great music. He's a really good musician. I'm I'm always amazed. I'll say I'll say something to some of my I say Sam. Now this guy plays blah blah blah. You probably don't know him. His name is you know you know JB Wingard or whatever you know. And he's like uh, he's like oh yeah I know that guy. Really good drummer. Used to tour with the Masalas Brothers. So he's only been here two years, and he's like he just knows that the the the, the, the musician, the working musician community, is tight. And man, talk about a feel that you know you're if you're not good, you're out. And um, these guys are, uh, you know, the skill is just it's un unfathomable. You 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 hook up with a guy who doesn't who you've never met, and you start playing a song, and it's like you've been playing together for you know. But like you've rehearsed this. I said, how, what, he played, my son played with an accordion player last night. He said, how long have you known that guy? I went, just a minute. So uh, it's amazing. You know, and, they, you know they, they, like they're really good. They just slot in. They slot in like that. It's amazing to see. If you're, Everyone's like, you know, people will say to me, you're a good player. I'm like, no, I know what good players are. I know what I know what a really good player is. It's like, so, you know, someone's saying, well, you can really sing. And you're like, yeah, no, if you can, if you, if you're a professional singer, if you're doing this professionally, it's just a whole other level. I I I, I, I give myself therapy in my on my couch with my guitar, but that's not the same. <laughs> that's kind not of right. Same. But not don't you feel same. it's the same thing with with if you're say you're doing reading a double with somebody, if you're lucky enough to be in the studio with them back when we used to do that face to face. When you know you're with somebody good, you know it right away. Oh yeah. Spot goes. No, well, Mick will tell you we're in we're in some terrifying rooms. I mean, you know, if you if you stand in a room with, you know, I'm all hell King Julian. I think one day it was uh, Mola Marsh, uh, Frank Welker, oh my uh, Jeff God. Bennett, Kevin Michael Richardson, and Danny. And I, I went. I was just like, I probably was like, wait a minute, what the hell am I doing in this room? This is wrong. This is very very wrong. And it was yeah. very intimidating. And they're all so damn funny. And in between takes, they're all so damn funny. They're all so damn talented. Oh, my gosh. And yeah. then it takes you a long time to kind of just relax and be yourself. And then you're one of the boys. And, and it's and they're, they're lovely. They're, they're the most gracious and wonderful people. But it's very intimidating because they're so good. Yeah. Well, so and they're so um, versatile and so all over the map. I mean. I remember I was doing a session with Mola Marsh once and uh, – he he worn a noisy shirt. He's like, God damn it! I I I I've worn the same shirt to do voiceover all my life, and then today I thought, you know what? I'm going to try this new shirt. I like this new shirt. <laughs> and so I put this new shirt on, and 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 now I'm now I'm the problem with the session. 
and then he launched into this whole uh, this whole riff of 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 Seinfeld. Uh, all the characters from Seinfeld complaining about this. I, I don't want to wear a shirt. I don't want to wear that shirt. <laughs> it's a shirt, Jerry. I'm telling you, it's a shirt. <laughs> and, and he does. He does this. I does every character, and it was like, I don't want to be a pirate. Just, he was riffing, and he was hilarious. Oh my god, Jason! Here it is, Jason. That's my girl. That's my girl. Jason Lowe. There you go. I have signed it live on the TV, on the TV, on the moving pictures. And happy birthday to Billy while we're at it from Professor Heimerdinger. That's awesome. I was in a session once with a guy and I was complimenting him. Um, everyone was just talking about, oh, I heard this great spot, blah, blah. It was something he was on the Howard Stern show. And I said, this woman called in and did this hysterical, hacking, wheezing Lucille Ball. And uh, I said, I don't know who this woman was, but man, it was dead on. And the guy next to me says, that was me. And I said, oh, we haven't met. What's your name? He said, Billy West. <laughs> oh, yeah, Billy. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it was like, yeah. it's a group of people. You're doing like a commercial. There's four or five people in there. And one of them is Billy West. Yeah. And you find out like 10 minutes into it. I said, oh, nice to meet you. I'm Billy. He goes, oh, my name's Bill. Billy West. And I was like, oh, you're Billy West. <laughs> and so, but amazing. Billy, I, I run to Billy doing... West an awful lot. And he's an absolute sweetheart. Yeah. And, he, and again, talking about what you're saying, those guys, Jeff Bergman was in that session. They could they could not have been nicer, and you know they they were in the game longer than I was, and it was like like you said, fifteen minutes into it, they don't care. It's like if you're there, you're there for a reason, and they're ready for everyone to go do a good job. The ego's checked at the door. It's so rare you run into a voice actor that's like that's a prima donna because I don't think they last. It's like an Italian restaurant in New Jersey. If it's no good, it's not going to be good. <laughs> exactly right. Hey uh, Zach. You ragazzo, ciao. Uh, va bene. Uh, faccio io subito. I'm doing it right now. To Giacchetta. He's very Italian. I write a quote from Vander for the signing. And I'm a. I'm a it's yeah, easy, Bill. It's very easy to offend an entire nation in just a few words. Just uh, a few you words. Know, the truth is, JB, my family's Italian. And some of them talk a little bit <laughs> higher. Che cosa fai? My, my family's Italian because I'm so fair-skinned, nobody believes me. But anyway, right. so for the record, I'm not offended. Oh, uh, Mexico. Holy sprockets, Tyler, this one's for you. Thank you so much for the order. First one in gold, too. You guys think the gold looks good? I've been signing in silver so far, but just the gold. Gold's nice. Yeah, that gold. is. Yeah, I, 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 I was gonna buy the two pack with the gold and the silver, but I just got the double silver pack because the ones I'm signing today are black. Yeah, yeah. Like very, oh, the, yeah. the printer said these are gonna be very, very dark. I said no, that. <laughs> that's that's the way it was said. It's it's a dark scene. The show's kind of a little dark. It's just a little bit of a dark show. Yeah. No, what are you talking about? It's light, family friendly entertainment. Yeah, show your kids. Um, there was that one scene uh, uh, with, with Heimerdinger, Mick, and it was, um, uh, I really can't, it was, you know, towards the end of the, the fifth or sixth episode, and he's he's been, you know, he's been, you know, brought down, and he's just walking by himself with his hood on, and he's mm -hmm. not getting any any respect. It was, it was so sad. I felt so mm -hmm. bad for him, like, oh, what a fall from grace. And there he is walking around, and there was no respect. Used to be on the council, and now he's just walking around. So that was um, that was great. That was a gr a great moment for him. And I forget he runs Absolutely. into somebody, and it doesn't go well. Uh, so right, he tries to entertain the little kid by taking them nuts and bolts, and yes, turning him into a little top. Yeah, uh, and then like, stay away from him. It's like, oh. hey Zach, there you go, man. Can't see if it's on camera. Is that on camera? Yeah, there you go. Signed live for you on the TV. I shot it on the TV. Uh, Y'all doing a live signing? Uh, Zaku Ragazzo. Is that, I, I, he's not offended because I said his name correctly. Thank you very much, Zach. I like saying people's names correctly. As someone whose name gets screwed up every five minutes. Ragazzo. Ragazzo. The double Z. That's Ragazzo. Ragazzo. And he signed it out to Giacchetta.
do you usually take safety precautions to protect your voice before session? Uh, yes, you can. You, you you warm up your voice often before sessions. Um, you should, and I can usually, as a director, tell when people haven't. And uh, that is the safest thing you can do in a voiceover session because uh, damage happens when your voice is not warm and when you're not keyed into your breath and where you're supposed to be breathing from. And you can put a lot of pressure on your throat and damage your voice very easily. So um, the technique of how you use your voice during the session and then warming up before the session, those are key to safety and vocal safety. Now, when you're doing a Call of Duty and you're screaming blue murder, there's nothing, there's no amount of training, there's no amount of protection that's going to uh, gonna help you, I'm afraid. That's um, I've heard, I, my, my agent has yelled at many a producer uh, because they don't give you an alert for when, like in a video game. Guess what? In video games, sometimes chances are you're going to die, <laughs> and you're going to yeah. die badly and loudly. So um, uh, he he would say to them, "Please, please, you've got to tell us." And if it's going to be my thing, is like if you're going to give me the screaming scene, end of the day, <laughs> you know, it's like yeah, see that session at four o'clock. I mean, this 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 used to be. It used to be much more of a problem. We had a big fight and uh, and uh, bailed the preso. Uh, we had a big fight and a big strike about it. And and we are now, um, you know, progressively. I think that's another thing of having actors as directors, is that I'm there to fight your corner too. And the, and certainly producers are much better about identifying when they're going to be vocally stressful sessions now, and trying to get those reduced to two hour sessions if they're if they're full of screaming. Um, but but it's, uh, uh, yeah. It it can be really taxing. Also, JV, you can probably, you know, uh, support this or not um, in terms of like stories, but uh, I had one guy and, you know, I saw him and it was like, you know, 3.30 walking around the subway together. And I was like, Roger, how are you doing? He goes, I'm doing really good, busy day. And I said, he goes, I, I got to eat something. I'm like, oh, did you have lunch? He goes, lunch. He goes, I didn't have breakfast. He says, before I record, I never eat. And I said, what? He said, mucus, man. Mucus will kill you. And, uh, you know, and he had a, you know, a very big, beautiful voice, very deep. Uh, he goes, Bill, mucus will kill you. And I'm like, well, yeah, but so will not eating. But he said, I will, uh, I'll drink water. He goes, I might have black coffee. He said, but I will not eat. And it was 3.30 and you're running around the city and it was hot. I'm like, Roger, water all day? The thing is, people people are different. Everyone's different. Everyone gets affected differently by different things. You know, dairy and chocolate never really affected me. They affect some people really, really badly. Um, the thing that affects me most of all is just fatigue, endless, endless fatigue. Nice print from Mick there to Tyler. Yep. There you go. And the wrong one. <laughs> Don't Damn it. Totally. Uh, Sasha, yes. I, I mean, uh, if it's gone up on the order, I'll have to look on Streamly, but I will read it out for you now to Van. You've got a good heart. Don't lose it from Vanda. There you go. I got chills. I don't know about you. I'm a, such a sucker for that stuff. <laughs> Say, yeah, when a big, maybe because listen, when I was growing up, I was little, you know, it was like four something. Um, I'm a strapping 5'11 and a half now, but I, I have such a soft spot for little guys that aren't, you know, especially bullied. Like Heimerdinger. Just like yes. Heimerdinger. Exactly. <laughs> but um, little but I, I definitely have that feeling. Who are you calling little? Because someone was asking me before, it's long gone now, um, about Huck being, you know, just so, just so, you know, quiet, you know, and scared. Of diminished and, stature. Yeah, and it's like, but, but, you know, look, I may not appear to be teeny, but I think if you were short growing up, you kind of always are a little bit. You're always just like the guy that's like a little bit too skinny. Listen, me getting picked for a sports team, forget it, <laughs> forget it. But um, you don't you don't forget that stuff. So when someone whenever someone talks about getting bullied, I mean, that just like I just want to. And I tell both oh, my yeah. sons, I'm like, you see anybody you'd be amazed bullied. also for any and out there, you'd be amazed how many actors were bullied at school. It's uh, oh, yeah. a lot of us. And we ended up kind of, I think for myself, I wanted to be other people. I didn't want to be myself because I was so badly bullied at school, really badly bullied at school. That's and the way I the way I survived was doing impressions of people and teachers. And, and that's how that's how it kind of got me into being an actor, really. Because it was a survival mechanism. Very quickly, Jason Lowe, you had a question. Uh, do, do you guys take Ninjom Paper Go? Yes, we do. Um, Fred Tattershaw discovered this stuff in Chinatown 
I want to say probably a good 10 years ago, maybe longer. Um, and uh, it's sort of it's made of Chinese herbs and sort of molasses of some sort. Uh, it's really good for coating the throat sometimes yeah. before a session, but it's a really good healer after a session, I find. Yes. Nim Jum Pepakoa as I think what it's called. And yeah. it's actually a loquat honey. It's honey yeah. made from the blossom of the loquat tree. And uh, I, I would bear that out with you, JB. Like it's great, especially for after, for the sitting uh, as well. That's such good stuff. Um, Keith Aram, have you worked, you worked with Valerie and Keith Aram over- Many, 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 many times. Yeah, so Keith, Keith said when he was directing, I think it was a Call of Duty, thing like he would have the guys between um when they would go on break and after screaming for you know 20 minutes he'd have them go and they'd actually even though it's really thick and viscous he would have them gargle that honey and it would wow and give them another like yeah it's not going to restore your voice totally but um but it will get it'll get you through the next part of the set yeah, I, did, I think I did two or three Call of Duties with Keith, and they were they were back in the day where they decided that loud was never loud enough, and they were making us scream. And they've changed they've changed oh, wow. that now. Okay. Yeah, there's something um, here from uh, Sasha Robbins. I'm four foot eight. Ha ha. It's like you know what? Yeah, it, it's what you can be as tall as you want in your heart and your mind, and that that'll it'll get you places. Here's a question here from uh, uh, Ramstein six 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 nine. Does having control over your voice from voice acting make singing an easier task? I'm going to say yes, and I think that this, the short answer is breathing, because if you're breathing right, um, you can, uh, you know, you're going to you, you can hold more notes, <laughs> you can you can phrase your stuff better, at, you know, uh, in, in acting or or in voice work. Um, so it does it. I think it absolutely helps, and I think that many uh, many of the voice actors I work with, guess what? Some of them are amazing singers. There's singing talent and there's technique, and I think that you know you're 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 in the same in the same family when you're talking about great great singers and great you know especially announcers but actors or, or voice actors and it's it's um, exactly the same technique. Uh, I was trained as a singer before I was trained as an actor, and and uh, my my singing teacher used to stand on my stomach. She was only five foot tall and make <laughs> me breathe and make me breathe in her mouth and and push her up with my diaphragm, and it was it was absolutely crazy. Wow. Um, but also, yeah. you know, acting is breath. Our, our emotions are founded in our breath. So you, you, control of breath is one of the main techniques, I think, used by great voice actors. And um, and the trick is to use that technique in a way that feels emotionally truthful and doesn't feel like a technique, I think. Yeah. Um, there was someone who wants – do you have any tips on voice acting? I have lots of tips on voice acting, but one the main one is, listen, voice acting is not – voice acting it's acting yes and i Thank think you. the danger that most people think is is that you are doing a voice if you are doing a voice you are you've missed the point and you're not playing a character the voice always comes second the acting comes first the choices you make as the actor in terms of playing that role uh should inform the way the voice is developed and i think that's true of everyone certainly in arcane it's what's the task what's what's the what's the character and what story am i am i trying to tell first mm -hmm. and then it's then it's the decisions about how vocally i would portray that something that happens to a lot of us is that everyone comes up to us and goes hey dude i've been told i get a great voice unless you get oh. a voiceover <laughs> and i always say to them uh and it's not mine and i wish it was but i always say i have a really nice pen but i'm not a writer the one that you heard <laughs> Ian said as a response to that exact quote, I have a great voice. Uh, everybody says I should get into voiceover. I have a great set of sprocket wrench or socket wrenches. I should be a mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. It just takes skill. It's uh, Or I've got a car. I should be a mechanic. It's just literally. Yeah. Or a race car driver, you know. <laughs> uh, but it's also, and going to JB's point about where it starts, this is why a writer when someone puts together a good script and you as a actor of, of any skill sees a good story or a good character on the page. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like, Oh my God, you're, you're, you're nearly halfway there. You know, look at what's going on. Look at the scene, look at the words. And it's like, I know what this guy would be like. So it really is a gift to get 
And I'm not talking about like a, you know, a three line thing and, you know, some short ad or something. I mean, when it's a real, it's a role and you see it and it, it's written and you're like, okay, this guy has given me something. And it's like almost incumbent on you to say, what, what's the character? What's the intention? And then it, it just all unfolds from there. I can but, say when you walk through the door at RADA, they say to you, you, you know, acting is a privilege. You are you are a vessel for a writer, and the, and the writer is handing you this very delicate two D material that you then have to turn into three D material, yeah. and that's a real skill, and that's and it's an, and it's something that you have to handle with honor and with care. I think and it, it is you're, you're trying to do justice uh, to that story. Yeah. Uh, and I think I think it's really important. Now, yeah. listen to Sasha Robbins. I can see that you're writing some Welsh slang here for us now, so oh. I'm going to say uh, I want to coach you too. All right, dear. <laughs> I'll make you laugh. So, uh, Sasha, I have just, it's just been re released publicly. I'll, I will be at the Welsh Comic Con uh, in in April, on the first weekend of April. So I'm going to come to Ohio. Lovely. Fantastic. Yes. And I can work on my Welsh accent as well because yes, my. You, you know, that's funny thing about coaching a Welsh accent for some reason. And that's, this is very specific Valley's accent, you know. Uh, that's a very specific part of well, it's like Swansea and places, you know. Uh, but the the problem when you're doing it quite often is that some people, for some reason, suddenly slip into Indian for no apparent reason whatsoever. <laughs> don't know, no. I don't know. I don't get it. It's like it seems like Welsh and Indian sometimes <laughs> to be very close, but it's happened with more than one client when I was a, a dialect coach. I mean, oh, I'll hilarious. do it. It gets on to get a little Scottish. Bill getting a little Scottish there, getting a little Scottish, but yeah, never Indian. And it's like. <laughs> No, no, no. First of all, have you ever been a voiceover, guys? You ever been uh, at a session or no, at most specifically an audition with a bunch of people there and it's St. Patrick's Day and one Yahoo starts doing an Irish accent and every voice actor in the room starts doing a job of learning to you? Did you go to church today? And it's the worst. It's the worst kind of terrible. Like, oh, you hate it. Yes, it's, the, it's, hate always it. the, it's, it's always the lucky charms accent. And it's just, and it's it's like, just awful. Will you guys stop? Twiddly fuggly, twiddly dee, twiddly dum, twiddly dee, twiddly dee. There are three lucky charms. There are three lucky charms. <laughs> 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 you know, and then you make sure you know, we, nothing like If you listen to a good Dublin accent, like, you know, like like Bono or, or Bob Geldof, you know, that'd be, that'd be bloody great, like, you know, it's a really heavy accent like that. It really is. I'm from Dublin, yeah, like, you know. Right, yes, and, yeah. and it's really, it's really thick and hard and just fantastic. It's completely different. And then, you, you know, you have, there's this fantastic thing going on now with Carrick, with all these, these uh, Irish fishermen. You know, they're going to, they're going to actually, they're going to sail out and stop the Russian Navy from doing these military exercises <laughs> off the southwest coast of Ireland. And I think it's, and they're all like, no, no, you've got to think of it like, this is our farm, you know. This is where we plow, this is where we grow crops, like, and so they can't go out there and start farming, mama, you know, firing guns. They're not firing balls and arrows now. Do you have a good Irish squad? And these guys, these brave squad? guys, are going to go sail out, and, and <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. It's like too bad the Irish don't make that. They're not not really good vodka coming from there. <laughs> I know, grabbing best you potatoes. Want vodka, maybe I'll help you out. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> why would I read the Jameson books? Put them up. Oh, so good. So well, I think good. we're getting towards the wrap-up time, my friends. Yes, I think we are. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in need of sustenance. Uh, as, point. as for me, I'm. I know there's just a couple of you that that uh, did some VIP orders, and I did not get a chance to get to your stuff. I'm going to continue on Instagram, so you can you can follow me on Instagram slash Mick Wingert. Um, I'll be doing a live right after this to knock the rest of these out and. We'll call it a day. But thank you all so much for being here. It's been a great time with Bill and JB and, you know, just yeah. really chatting, talking the shop and all that stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah, and now uh, we have, Streamly wants us to know that you can go to any of our sites or the Streamly site and uh, click on Arcane and you'll see our contacts for this. And, um, yeah, you guys are great. I, I, I really wish there was more opportunity for me to get out to L.A. and see you maniacs because you cracked me up. <laughs> the two years, <laughs> the two years. <laughs> the two years. We can make it if we try. But you know, oh, right? yeah, hey, me, me yes. and you in Blizzard, we could be outside of a Blizzard and in the Blizzard. But um, <laughs> Nick, a great thing. I love, I love Heimer Dinger and man, oh man. Oh, thank you. Pleasure to pleasure to have, spend some time with you, Bill. It's, I hope we get to be in the booth sometime. Yeah, Fingers great seeing you guys. Thanks to everyone on the stream. You guys rock. Yeah. We really appreciate you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank we'll you. see you thank soon. You.